Great. You can just leave the proposal on my desk. I'll check it out in the morning, okay? Thank you. Hey. Well, the uniform makes it official. You're looking at your newest cocktail waitress. Fulfillment of a lifelong dream, I'm sure. I was left under such a mountain of debt after Henry died, I think the new dream is just climbing out from under it. Hmm. When do you start? My first shift's in a few hours. Jumping right in. I'm just serving drinks, not making them. How hard can it be, right? I should go home. Get changed. Hey, Madison. I'm not done with you yet. I never expected this marriage to be anything more than an understanding between friends. Two people willing to support, protect each other. Now that it is something more, something real, I want you to know, Greenly, I'm in love with you. to life in so many ways. I can't tell you how much that means. How much you mean to me. I'm sorry we waited so long to make our marriage real. I just wanted it to be right. It is right. You make me happy, David. Really happy. It's been a long time since I felt so good. I'm happy, too. I know it wasn't easy putting yourself out there. And I don't want you to feel like it was a mistake and that I don't care. Because I want to give you my heart. And I will. I just... I just need time. I didn't say I love you to get you to say it back. I just wanted you to know how I feel. No, you're not there. I understand that. That doesn't change anything for me. You're the one who warned me not to say certain things unless I felt the same. We're together. Our marriage is real. That's what's important. I'm assuming you don't have tons of experience in the service industry. Well, I do Erica and Greenlee's bidding every day. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure Erica and Greenlee are very demanding, but I, I have a feeling they don't try to grope you on the job all the time. You see, what happens here is guys come in and they have a few drinks and, you know, they tend to get a little friendly with the wait staff. And not only that, there's, there's people that don't know when to leave the tables. You know, they get down thousands of dollars, and you are the one they take it out of. No, being yelled at is nothing new. My father wasn't hitting me. He was putting me down. I survived. Oh, okay, I'd like you to do a little better than just survive, Madison. For the longest time, I was afraid to stand up to my father. But when I finally did, everything changed. I finally felt like, like I was in control. And it felt good. Customers can pitch a fit. I'll slap a smile on my face, bring them another drink. And if they're still not satisfied, I'll call the biggest bouncer and have them escorted out to the pool to cool off. Is that for customer service?
Hey, sleepyhead. Sorry to leave without saying goodbye. You look so peaceful, I didn't want to wake you. Something came up with one of the shareholders. If I don't deal with it tonight, the whole plan to gain control of the hospital could fall through. Hope you understand. Sleep well. Love, David. Celebrating with your wife? Don't tell me. Problems in paradise already. Okay, so we've covered drunks and back talking bullies. Is there anything else you want to go over before my shift starts? I don't know, maybe the do's and don'ts of dating the dealers? Laugh now, but you will be on the front line soon enough. I can't wait. Hey, will you give me a second? And don't forget you said that. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm sorry. I can explain. No, 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 please. I will be right there. Hey. Something wrong? Wow. I save you from a prison cell, and this is the thanks I get. I get the cold shoulder. You had your own reasons. That, plus a rather sizable paycheck. Well, I would have gotten that anyway. But I pulled off the impossible in that courtroom. Of course, I couldn't have done it without Greenlee. She took a really big risk on that stand. I, she could have ended up in a prison cell right next to you. Which is why I'm surprised she's not sitting here with I, you. Liza, let it go. I mean, Greenlee was willing to do whatever it took to make sure that you went free. Well, I mean, I guess that's to be expected. You did save her life. She owes you. Greenlee doesn't owe me a damn thing. Isn't that the problem? Hmm? She's... You guys are even, and now she's free to go back to Ryan? Greenlee hates Ryan now. Huh? She wouldn't take him back even if he crawled back to her. Okay, so what, what, what's the problem? Hmm. You know, during that trial, you, uh... You were more concerned about protecting Greenlee than you were yourself. You were even willing to go to prison to make sure that she didn't testify. You obviously really love her. Judging by the look on your face, she doesn't love you back? Am I warm? Wow. With Amanda, you were willing to pull out all the stops to control her. Faked a disease, you emotionally blackmailed her. But with Greenlee, you're not forcing it. Just sitting here alone, drowning your sorrows. Well, you must really have it bad. <laughs> <laughs> 